It's inspiration. And without inspiration, what do we do? We do nothing. You know, that's human nature. If you're not inspired to do something, how many people go out and do something just because? No, they're inspired to do it. Rolling Thunder is a group of trucks that are doing stock car times on straight diesel, no additives. That's a bunch of modified prime movers racing around a circuit track. I would describe big rig racing as something you definitely have to watch because there's a lot that goes into racing with these 10,000 pound machines. Something that it, you can't explain in words, you've got to actually see it on the track to understand it and believe it because it's, it's just not, not what you see every day. My name is Mike Gibbons. I've been doing truck racing for 19 years. I was raised in northern Idaho, worked since I was a little kid. I started driving log truck when I was 16 years old. I was raised in a truck more than I ever was at home. So trucks have always been a huge part of my life. It came a time where I, I had realized that I never had done a hobby for myself. I worked daylight till dark, seven days a week. It was business, it was family, it was taking care of everything and not doing something for myself. A bunch of friends literally drug me, kicking and screaming to a truck race. After many hours of sitting in a truck, I talked myself into building one. And we just started piecing things together. It's about uh, having an open mind and making things work that truly weren't made for that exact application, but you make them work. Where we're racing today is Evergreen Speedway in Monroe, Washington. When I broke off of another series, this was the very first track that took my contract and let me prove to them that I could make this happen. It's a one-of-a-kind track where it's rain or shine. Whatever it does, you're gonna race. What I enjoy most about this type of racing is the special fans that wouldn't go to a track normally that come out just to watch us and get an opportunity to see the other classes and keep that racetrack alive and have a great time. Somewhere in everybody's life, they've had a connection with a truck. And for us to be able to have the opportunity to come down and, and perform in front of them and do things that they never thought was possible, it, it's worth it every bit of it. My name's Tammy Williams. I drive number nine. I got into this about 10 years ago. I was a sponsor for the team. We supply the turbochargers. I haven't driven any type of big rig or 18 wheeler, uh, let alone hardly any stick shifts. So it's different, but it's fun. It drives like a big machine. Some of the modifications we do is we shorten up the wheelbase, adjust the timing and change the turbo out, marine injectors, more fuel, make them go fast. My name's Andrew Tully and it's the first time I've ever done this. Yeah, I've driven in the States and all over Australia, but um, yeah, never driven on track. It started out life as a 379 Peterbilt. Uh, it's got an 8V92 double TA in it, 475 horse, 10-speed road ranger. All the suspension, everything's heavily modified. It starts off as a truck, but it's completely modified beyond the truck standard to try and emulate a, a race car. I mean, 
If you're into motorsports and adrenaline, why wouldn't you want to try and throw something this size and this weight around a track and try and tame the beast, so to speak? I mean, it's just, yeah, it's a challenge that I think everyone has probably got a bit inside of them that wants to have a go at it. I've got the opportunity in front of me, so I'm going to make the most of it. Never let a chance slip by. The reality of a good, really good day's racing is when everything drives back on the trailer, there's not a lot of body damage or motor damage, which isn't gonna happen tonight because we've already blown one motor up, but everybody goes home happy and fulfilled in, in having a great time, you know, and in one piece. I do this for fun. It's kind of an outlet to get away from your day-to-day -day routine, to just let loose, have fun with the guys, and they're like a family, and it's just a different gig. It's fun. Every one of these guys, they inspire me to be better. They inspire me to keep going. It's about a group of guys with, with the same passion that want to make it work. Everybody has to work together. It doesn't matter what your skill set is, what your job is. It takes all of us to make this thing happen. weight around the track at stock car times is no easy feat so it's really showing the skill of the drivers because they have to change to the truck as it changes throughout the night. Being out on the track it's like just a lot of adrenaline going you kind of get tunnel vision you got to watch your gauges and you got to watch who's around you watch how many laps you're on if there's any cautions so it's Definitely a lot going on. Got six on your outside. I, I tried to prepare myself for what it may be like, and it's not like anything I've ever driven before. The only thing is that you can do things in this thing that you can't do in a truck, and you know, I've, I've driven some pretty fast trucks in Australia, but a purpose built truck, you can just do so much more in it and feel so much safer. It's, it's insane. You can push it to the limits, as you've seen, I got a bit sideways early today, and yeah, it's, it, it's just, yeah, out of this world. We work together as a team, and that's where it's different from anything else that you'll find, is we might be competitors against each other, but we are also uh, brothers and sisters, and, and we're family. Why do I do this? At this point, because I'm scared nobody else will. Because it's such an oddity that it's gonna be tough to find anybody that has the passion to keep this thing going. And if I don't do it, it's not gonna get done. <laughs>